In today's video, we'll be talking about pepper spray versus mace. A lot of people think that pepper spray and mace are the exact same thing, but the fact is that there are very significant differences between the two. So, when you look at these items, what do you think of? Stun guns are considered tasers, and tasers are considered stun guns. For jello, it's just a branded type of gelatin. For Kleenexes, or Kleenex, it's considered a branded type of tissue, or soft tissue. Band-Aids are just a branded form of adhesive bandages. This is what we call genericized trademark. These trademarks represent common names that we tend to associate with certain items. So looking at mace, mace by itself doesn't represent a product, it represents a brand. Mace stands for Mace International. The company actually creates personal security products as well as home security products. So that's one thing to keep in mind whenever you hear someone say, oh, you mace somebody, or can I get some mace? This is one thing to keep in mind. Pepper spray, mace are different things. So the mace that we know is actually representative of tear gas. And tear gas has been used in domestic situations or domestic disturbances for riot control with local police forces. It's used in, in the military for training and it's also been used in warfare in World War I. That's when it was primarily used as a harassing agent or a type of nerve agent. There are actually two different types of tear gas. So there's CS and these are the scientific names, it's really hard to pronounce, but orthochlorobenzomolotronyl and CN, which is alpha chloroacetaphanone, very difficult to pronounce, but these are the two different chemicals that represent tear gas, or two different types of tear gases. So CN was actually the very first tear gas that was used. First used in the military during World War I as a harassing agent. Eventually they actually switched over to CS because it was much less toxic and much more effective. CS was more potent than CN but it wears off a lot quicker. CS was actually discovered in 1928 and it's replaced CN. This was done in the 1950s its first use was during the Vietnam War. Many pepper spray products actually use a combination of OC and tear gas, but mace branded products actually still use CN, even though it's considered to be a more toxic chemical and substance. An interesting fact, though, is that tear gas in general was actually banned in 1993 by the United Nations Chemical Weapon Convention for use in warfare. The reason this was done was to prevent escalation during warfare or during confrontations, but it's still allowed to be used internationally for use in riot control. So that's why it's still in use. Now there are comparative effects between pepper spray, OC, and mace, which CNCS. As we know, pepper spray is an inflammatory agent, which means that it causes the body involuntarily swell up or make the mucous membranes in the various parts of your body, your eyes, your, your throat, and everything else swell up involuntarily. The effects are immediate and the chemical itself, it's natural, it's non-toxic, and it wears off quickly. Typically between 30 minutes to an hour. Mace, on the other hand, is actually an irritant, which means it relies on pain in order to be effective. Now the reason that the military uses mace, or uses tear gas rather, is to train, train its members 
to fight through it because you can actually build up a resistance to tear gas but you cannot build up a resistance to pepper spray or OC because it's because of the fact that it's an inflammatory agent. Irritants rely on pain so it's easy to build up that resistance. The other problem is that tear gas typically takes between 5 to 30 seconds to kick in and if you're in an altercation with someone who's threatening your life or wants to assault you, 5 to 30 seconds is a very long time to have to wait for it to kick in. Especially if you're dealing with someone who has a weapon like a gun or a knife. The other thing is that it is a man-made chemical. It's possibly carcinogenic. It's been linked to liver failure, heart conditions, and a number of other things since its inception. The residue from the chemical or chemicals from CN and CS can actually last for days. Whereas, of course, OC only lasts for about an hour or so, and then it's gone. But those are the main differences between mace and pepper spray. That's all I have in this video. I'll uh, see you in the next video.